So guys, for the first step, you wanna find the folder that you're having a problem with. Then you wanna right click on it and then click on properties and then click on security and then click on advanced and then click on change. And then when this box right here, you wanna type in your username. If you don't know it, you wanna head over to search and type in file explorer, click on it. And then once you're on this on the left hand side, you wanna scroll down and then click on this PC. Then you wanna click on the drive where you have Windows installed on. It's gonna have the Windows logo on it. Double click on that and then click on users. Then it's gonna be showing your username right here. My one is Speedy Tutorials. So I'm gonna type that in right here, Speedy Tutorials. And then click on check names and then click on okay. And now you wanna select replace owner on subcontainers and objects. Tick this and then click on okay. You might be getting a pop-up. You wanna click on okay on that pop-up and then click on okay again. If that's still not working for the second method, you wanna head over to search and type in CMD. Then you wanna run it as administrator. And then click on yes. And now once you're on this, we're gonna type in chkdsk space. Now you wanna type in the drive letter from your Windows drive. For me, it's gonna be C colon. So I'm gonna type in C colon space full slash F space full slash R. Click on enter. Wait for this to load. And then once this comes up, you wanna click on Y and then click on enter again. And then once you do that, you wanna restart your computer, but keep on watching the video. Restart your computer, but keep on watching. And now as your computer is restarting, it's going to be saying to skip this checking, press any key. Do not press any key. You do not want to press any key. Let all the seconds load in. Now once this loads up, it's going to be running this checking. Wait for this to be completed. It will take you back to Windows and then the problem should be fixed.